Okay, there we go. Uh, hi everyone, it's Holden again. Um, it's been a while, but we're gonna start with the fourth campaign mission, Stone Cold Deadly, and I'm just gonna... I'll explain it as I go like I normally do, but... Alright, so... Overall strategy, overall strategy right now is that you're going to need more general uh, anti-air units to defend yourself, because you are fighting the Chosen, and they do have quite a lot of grounded attack planes. If you've seen my video on the Planes from Hell mission, it sort of operates similar to this mission in that, where you need to take it really slow as you approach the base, and then use your escorts and missile cruisers to defend yourself and destroy the enemy. So in terms of how the mission goes, it's sort of like that. But first thing we're going to do is turn on all of our facilities. So the mining stations, the gold refineries, and the ecosphere. So for your mining station, what you want to do is drop the fuel as low as you can, get at least 10 gold, and then put the rest in the raw material, and then you can just throw the rust back into fuel. So you want it to have, look sort of like this. And you should be okay right there. So next we'll go into gold upgrades. So mostly you'll be putting it pretty much all into the boats. So to start, we'll just take off the land units, the buildings. Actually, I might leave the buildings on here. So for the escort, you want to upgrade the range and the attack. The attack is mostly needed so you can kill most of the aircraft in a single hit. And the range is so you have better coverage, so they're not, like, high ground attack planes aren't taking advantage of, like, one square that could potentially end you. So this should be okay for the escort. You can pretty much leave the Corvette alone. That's fine as it is. Uh, the gunboat can mostly also be left alone. The missile cruisers will be investing most of our gold. So what you want to do is... Bump it up twice to 15 range. This will take up 73 gold, but you're gonna need it to outrange their missile cr their missile launchers, and it'll give you a much easier time with assaulting the base. And then upgrade your attack by just one click right here, and then that way you can take out their defenses in one hit. Uh, next, we'll just. You can ignore the rest of the boats after the missile cruiser. You don't need any of these to be upgraded. Alright, so after the boats, onto the planes. Um, since you're fighting the Chosen, you're going to need the extra 6 range, so you, your, your range is on par with their range. Otherwise, they'll outrange you every single time. Uh, for hits, you could probably put this up here. This is mostly optional. I believe they do upgrade their attack to 18, so you'd have to do something like that, so you can resist it, but it's not that important. Just start with the range first. Uh, AWAC, what I could recommend is this some extra scan, so you can see further. But I just remembered, I actually forgot the submarine. Uh, what you want to do with the submarine is just bump up the scan. And then you'll be left with 12 gold after all these upgrades. So afterward, uh, next turn, I would bump the AWAC scan up when you have the gold. And then one other possible tip is um, you can increase this to 9 range. Because how the AI normally handles uh, range is so you, or the scan and range, so you have this range right here. They'll sit, like, right here. And so if you bumped your range up by one suddenly, you could attack them and destroy it. And so that's what you could do with these. Like, they'll sit outside the range, upgrade the range in the gold refinery, and then you can kill them. That might not happen, but it happened in one of my test runs, so... That's something I want to bring up. Um, funny enough, you don't need any of these tanks. Uh, that's entirely up to you if you want to use them. The only thing I could recommend is cannon fodder. 
maybe? I don't know. I, I just haven't had to use them because you're pretty much relying on your boats for everything. So what we're going to do with these escort, uh, for these surveyors, you can just throw them down here. You can use them as a uh, mine scan, mine scanners, because there are some mines right in this bay here and start right about on 8243. So you're going to need that or your sea mine layer over here so you can clear the mines. All right, as for the air units plant, build an AWAC, and then maybe a second AWAC, and then the rest of them fighters. So you could do this, or if you can protect an AWAC really well, I would do something like this. But I would suggest maybe this. And for the first AWAC, build it at four times speed. You will be dropping 36 raw material will turn for it but like I'm trying to mention earlier with the escorts you need these units meet like as soon as possible because on turn three or four they'll be they'll have I think six or seven ground attack planes so you can't waste any time so for the shipyards you can just follow the build order I did here and by the build order I did I mean the build order I got from a guide but so what I would suggest, at least from the guide that also works, is that get a couple escorts and then maybe an extra and then an extra corvette. So in case they send submarines at you, you can leave these behind to scan for them. And then, like with the AWAC, you just need the first unit on times four, and then afterward you can do times two. So anything past the first escort will be times two. Unless you uh, unless you get to the point where you don't need to build it anymore, you should be okay. So times four, and then for this one, we don't need to do another Corvette. You could probably do another missile cruiser or gunboat or submarine, uh, depending on what you need. But I'm gonna do a gunboat in this one. Actually, no, whoops, I mean missile cruiser in this one. Put a couple on there, and same for the last one. Times four, couple escorts, and then. Gunboat or missile cruiser? I would suggest missile cruiser. I mean, the, the three gunboats you have now will be fine. And then something like that. So, as for the heavy vehicle plant, um, I wouldn't really worry about any of this because none of the units in this situation are going to be very useful to you. Um, maybe a scanner, but the ground units they have and the ground attack planes could catch up to you quickly and it wouldn't be that helpful. If you want to, you can build a constructor to replace any buildings or even build new ones. That's up to you. I mean, I'm just going to build one right here just in case for like ecosphere or something like that, but this will only be for a couple turns, so you don't need to worry about, you know, losing 100 material a turn. And then as for this, uh, just get an engineer at four times speed, and this will be used to build uh, anti-aircraft guns to protect your base. All right, and that is the building setup and some of the units. So what we're gonna do is grab these escorts that are lying around and move them over here to the dock so we can get them upgraded. So just load the units in here for right now. Just remove that out of the way. Okay, so let's upgrade these. Put that in there. And just move these escorts over here. And just put that. here. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Oops, I didn't mean for it to go all the way around. So load the submarines in, and then upgrade these, and we'll start moving our sweat units. One over here. Alright, so I would recommend one submarine goes down here, 
because this missile launcher right here already has your mining station in range. So that's something you want to take care of immediately. Now move one of your submarines over here so you can spot any units that are coming from this way. And then for this one, uh, you could leave it right here to see ground attack planes or maybe even move it over here because they do like sending occasional gunboats and units up to attack you. But the one thing with submarines I do need to know is you need to be careful of ground attack planes or you could just lose your submarine uh, right now. So definitely be careful about that. Um, so for any escorts or corvettes that don't need that you um, sorry I should probably say that. Usually you want to leave some escorts and maybe a gumbo over here. But for any uh, escorts of like the three or four you need over here for the ground attack planes, uh, ga like gather the rest of them like your units tr uh, right here after you've dealt with the ground attack plane rush on this side. So something like this I think should work. I'm just gonna move this down here. And yeah, this should work just like this. So end your turn and we'll keep moving. Oops, I moved that way too close. I can just get it repaired. <laughs> so move this in here. Start seeing more turrets. There's a gunboat I mentioned. And see, this is part of my problem with using the tanks on here is because there's so many ground turret, ground units, and gunboats and turrets here that the tanks would just get destroyed. I mean, it'd make more room for your gunboats to shoot, but it's not worth sacrificing all those tanks just to get an extra landing. So actually, just move this over here. I don't really need it. Because I could destroy that in two shots. I could take that out too. But I have the missile cruisers here, so I don't need to worry about that. So, escort. I'm just going to use the Corvettes to take out the scout. Because I've got an idea. So I'm going to try to give it a tighter cluster over on this side, over here. Because I don't see the ground attack planes yet, but they should be right around these two turrets. So let's get the missile cruisers out. Just like that. Actually, you'll weaken this. Take that out. Yes. Okay, that doesn't even take it out all the way, so. So if this tries to come up, it should. Yeah, it won't be able to do anything. And to turn again. Okay, units are moving, but I'm not seeing... There it is. Alright, so the AWACS over here, and here are all the ground attack points and fighters that should be showing up. So this is why you want to make sure you want to try to have your escorts on this side. Escort is ready. AWAC is ready. 
So most of you guys should be ready right about now. Um, I actually would leave your AWAC in the hangar because they would probably try to, because they've had instances where they will rush your AWAC just to get rid of it. So I would definitely make sure you take care of that. But, uh, so I wanted to get the scan up, but because all the planes are here, I'm going to have to wait on that. So how many? I have four escorts right here. So actually, let me check the... See, it's 22, so I have 24 attack. All right, all my escorts will be able to shoot it in one hit. So where does that leave the range? Okay, 31. I can bump four escorts up to nine range. But actually what I'm going to do is I will bump this up and actually leave that for right now. So the engineer's purpose is mostly just to build AA guns around your base. That's really it. So usually a good spot to build one is right here around the depot or the heavy vehicle plant because that's where, you know, all these units are. You could rush and build one right here just because, you know, you can't get over there and they might just run in and blow it up anyway. So, uh, so to potentially prepare for that, I'll just build one right here. And I'm not going to move this escort because they could just, you know, run right over and take it out. And you could even consider building mobile anti-aircraft if you'd like, but it's not a whole, it's not too big of a deal right now. So I'm going to shift all these to times two. back in let's put these missile cruisers back in so let's see we have one move these gunboats back see here that is weakened so I could actually draw some attention away and buy myself some more time but maybe not that's up to you all right yeah and be careful the mines are right here so I would not move your submarine that close because you will lose it so let's move it up here to keep better eye on the planes but I can't use this one Take that out. And then run it away a little bit. Oops, I didn't mean to move that. Thought I had that one taken out. Yeah, that was my bad. So they've only got three left right now. They do have a lot of fighters. So this is this is obviously a boat where you I would just don't even bring your AWACS out until you can get rid of most of the fighters. Actually, I could even buff these up a little. You know, just give them extra armor and stuff, but. Okay, so they do have a Corvette, which means I can do this and kind of just hover back over here. But I think it might spot me if it goes up this way, so let's move up here. I need to move, I need to waste the uh, shots here so it's not shooting the scouts, so I don't lose the sub. So that's why if I'm just you see me moving it back and forth, it's for that reason. 
Because even if you don't have it on sentry mode, it'll still shoot. Alright, so... Okay, I did find it. So one of these should be driving over here. And let's take out scouts. Okay, yep. So because they are shifting over here, I'm gonna build some AA turrets over. Actually, right here it would work. And yes, build these uh, turrets at uh, four times speed too. Oops, not artillery. Oops, not three speed, <laughs> not three turns. There we go. Just so that way, if you're able to see your escorts are over here, that you can uh, have, you know, you don't need to like ship them all the way because then, then they can't shoot back and you, know, you don't want to have that happen. So actually I'm going to bump this up to nine range, to nine uh, range. Let's upgrade everybody. Don't need to reload because escorts have a ton of ammo. They do have some missile cruisers, but let's keep going. So, what these next few turns will mostly be is you building up more of your uh, navy, uh, navy to have enough escorts to have enough missile cruisers to go on the offensive. So just kind of like planes of help for the most part, you will be playing defensive for the first 10, 15 turns before you can whittle down their ground attack planes and defenses so you can comfortably push forward. Looks like the turn timer is frozen again. Nope, alright, there it goes. Now I'm producing missile cruisers, and that has the extra corvette. All right, good. So some of these escorts have extra range. Right, so I have it. So I think they sent their corvette up this way. So I think I can move my submarine back down. So, so I think their fighters move down here, or some over here. So since I have enough escorts, I might actually move my AWACS over here. Fourteen gold. And then I might just build another AA gun like over here because there is no AA defense back here. Another turn, see where these move, and then I should be able to start organizing my navy into a tighter cluster. Maybe another two, couple turns, depending on how it goes. So 
Speaking of that, I'd love to do the trick where even though I have don't have enough movement, I can still move my air units under there. So actually, let's move this over here. Start doing that. So it looks like they're going to shift around here. So that means I can move more of my escorts over this way. Which I might just need to upgrade these now. So, anti-aircraft. Probably could start using gunboats if you if you do make more or just these three. Just start bombarding these land units so they're not gonna get in the way of your ships. But still be mindful of turrets. So let's do something like that and then that way I can just bombard them. So I wonder if they'll chase my AWACS now that they know that they're out. Because that's the AI and they can basically cheat. Let's be real, it's a video game. Looks like they're not gonna use their turn up. I might cut out some of the, a lot of the in between waiting time where they just sit here and do nothing. That way you couldn't actually upload this video in less than, but like, an hour. All right, so it looks like they are gonna shift over this way. Yep, just outside the range. Ooh, one more attack and I can take out tanks? I don't need more gold anyway. That's unfortunate. Alright. So I'm going to start moving some of these escorts over here load them through the dock so they don't use the movement up that way weird all right so I'm gonna move the Corvette up with the main full oh, there it is that's helpful yeah so the reason why I went extra Corvette another shot and so you can spot more subs now I'm just gonna build more missile cruisers and put this on repeat um, I'm sort of a constructor I don't really know what you want to do with it this is mostly just in case you lose a structure maybe and you need to build something new. Because then at that point you could build this a, uh, a, a, a turret like right here maybe. 
and then use this to get a bulldozer to clear it up. But you could use this and uh, get more eco spheres, I guess, if you wanted, or even build more shipyards. You know, it's really up to you what you want to do with this constructor. But since I am, actually, I might build a dock over here. So it's easier to store these, but I might just build them in the shipyard. Actually, I'll move this up, which should be okay right now. Blow that up. Move that over here. Build the shipyard right there. I mean, you don't need to, but yeah, I might as well, right? All right, since they only have five fighters, I've got let's move one of these up. them there. The two AA guns over here should cover, so I'm actually going to move most of my escorts over. And so you see right here, you can start to see the, my units forming into a bit of a large group. So usually around, maybe this time, a couple turns, turn 10, 11, uh, start moving down and start slowly destroying like missile turrets and um, any AA turrets that can stand in the way of your AWAC. And don't move your escorts too much. You, you, know, you always want to have escorts covering your escorts. Otherwise, ground attack planes will just move in and kill all your escorts and you'll have no AA protection and you'll lose the rest of your fleet. So. I guess I could recommend it again. If you do want to see more of what I'm talking about with the escort um, moving, I'll link the Planes from Hell video I did in the description, or I can use that little I button at the top right of the video. Actually, I haven't set that up yet, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll get that in later. So I have a fighter up. So at this point, they will start upgrading their fighters. So if you'd like, I'd start doing that for yours as well. So extra attack and armor just kind of like theirs are. Something like this. Because that's 18. You would need 19 to kill that. 18 would leave it at 1, so just like that. So at 26 range. So get the range first, as I mentioned earlier, and then, and then get this as they do it as they upgrade theirs, so you can counter theirs. Ooh, that's in range, that's always good. Can I get it with... I can do it with this. That one, actually. Surprised they let me do that. Move that over there. I think at this point I'm actually comfortable to start moving up. So that's good. All right. Let's build another shipyard, I guess. I'm not seeing any ground attack planes, so it's just fighters. But I don't want to move all my escorts out because like, I will lose these units. So let's start doing this. Move that out a little. Move this out right here. Put that there. And leave it like this. So let's 
you know, start gathering my units slowly. You can do what you want with the sea transports or the tanks. Like I mentioned, it's up to you. It's not necessary. Cruisers. You can leave them on times two at this point, it doesn't matter, at least as long as you have. Because you'll have enough raw material to last you through pretty much the whole game. So you'll be okay. Mostly you'll be using these to make it eat quicker to bombard their base. These ones are in position. We'll start moving these ones over. Not all of them, but some of them. Move all these over here. We'll leave this over here for a case of submarines. You are here, so let's build another A turret. Don't need to do it at four speed this time, but maybe two. And I'll start bringing the surveyors out for my extra mine layer protection, I guess. It's a weird way to put it, but. We use this to help scan for mines and the cargo ship that would be for refilling them. can't get it, it's not in range, but... One just went off that way. Okay, turn 13. Gonna move these escorts up, not all at once, but just. Mm -hmm. Those ones are in the back, so we move those all the way up. Actually, move it right there. Leave you up here. So there's another missile launcher behind this radar, 8555, and 8249 is your next missile launcher. And then 7047 as well. Now, moving my escorts forward because I mostly know where the missile launchers already are. But if you can use your AOX, it's go ahead just a little bit, but have enough speed to retreat back so you're not going to lose them to fighters. 
because they will use their fighters. Actually, that's not even a... It's only a one, hold on. Some of these aren't upgraded. Fighters. They've improved the attack, or not the attack, the armor. Okay, yeah, they've done it quite a lot. So I noticed 31. Oh. Don't know where that was. I'd require 59 gold to do. Ugh, that's quite a lot. Although, actually, I might stop building that and then put it on escorts just to be safe. go, got that. Now as far as I know, they do not keep any units inside the stock. So you shouldn't have to worry about destroying this unless you want to get rid of the three scan that it has. Ooh. Right there should be safe. One more. Okay, so these have 11 range, so 13 range would be enough. But I recommend the 15 range because that gives you a lot more, um, I want to say leeway in how you approach it. I mean more uh, safety. Because if you're at 13 range, you'd have to attack from like right here or here and that would leave you at a higher risk to get attacked by ground attack planes. So the more range lets you stay back further and have more uh, places to attack it from rather than just being just out of range. Because the thing with being just out of range is, you know, your opponent is also just out of range. So it kind of gives them uh, as much as an opportunity to potentially upgrade or even just get one thing closer to you as you already are to them. I don't think that makes any sense, but I'm going with it.
so there is actually, I can't hit this yet, but the air unit's plane is right there, so I might actually start hitting that, so I don't have to worry about that as much. I don't know if I could bring any ground attack planes over there. For some reason, all their fighters... I, th I think they're trying to flank around. They'd have to go through the AA turrets to do that. Alright, so destroyed that. So they have gun turrets, which I can be out of range of, but no problem. Let's take that out. But they have artillery here, so I need to do that. Okay, so it's got a turn left. So, let's get rid of this missile launcher. And I think there's another one right down here, below this artillery. So that way I can start safely scanning for mines. Okay, so right at A243, and I believe there's one, he not here, but, so right at A243, and then down all the way to this uh, bay over here, and then there's mines going all the way to right here. So that was uh, mostly just to show you. That was actually me forgetting where exactly it started. I know it started right at the bay, but I wasn't sure exactly where it started. So this is where I to make sure you start clearing any of the long-ranged uh, defenses so you can start moving in your mine layers. And your, or your surveyors, sorry. Okay, they are trying to move around. What did I just... Oh, apparently I selected this still and I moved it up. It's a little weird. We can just take care of that. Uh, and let's move this up. Shoot down the AWAC. So they can't see. Select them both, move them down, and let's just build more escorts with this one. I'm just going to do it at times one, because I can. So I need to move at least, okay, so just over there. So let's move up right there, it's okay. It's okay, it's not in range, it's barely in range. All right, take that out. That's already moved, so let's do that. Yep, so there's one right here, and then it just goes down. So to clear it, I would probably either just use your gunboats and your corvettes. That's the best ways to clear it. Don't waste your missiles on it. Move this back up. Corvettes. 
that's right here. Shift this over. So they all fled. Except for this one unit right here. No, that one fled too. this back so here's the other one I want to take out but they could just take this out but they have an engineer right here so they could just build a connector then I just kill the engineer that up and we'll snipe that out. There we go. Ah, uh, so we've gone to the other side over here. Interesting. Not sure what they're going to do. So he can shoot me, but he can't see me, which I think is interesting. I don't know how far I can push that. That far. So your ecospheres will be here at 7256 and then 7258. And then once you can get into range, you can beat the mission right here. So there's the first one. Oops, let's do that.
Why are you sending all their fighters over here? Not 100% sure, but... I'll take that out. And there we go, and I'll get the other one in here to spawn it. care of this over here. There we go, I should see if I can bait some of those fighters out. Send an escort over here. Alright, so from right there I can actually kill it, so let's just do that. Right? Alright, so next turn I should be able to end this, because I only have one ego seer left. Oh, it's actually shot. Oh, guys, I think he maybe get out of range. One submarine, one AWAC, and an escort and surveyor. Okay. And that should be it. So yeah, capture cooler in 50 turns, just destroy the ecosphere is like mostly every other mission. And just keep on uh, you 45 gold. Uh, actually, I could probably upgrade the radar and see what else they have lurking.
and that's the mission actually. So, I guess I could probably cover, uh, recap things for a sec. Um, make sure you, when you are moving your escorts forward, I would recommend probably only three at a time. And whichever escorts are closer to your base or in the back of your uh, navy, I would move those forward and leave the rest that are in front stationary so that way they can kill the fighters and ground attack planes that threaten your air force and navy. And then along with the missile crews are shooting out um, any turrets or missile crawlers that might be in the way. And then just keep moving up from there. You will be defensive for the most part, but overall, slow and steady, you should be done by usually turn 30. I mean, I did do this on turn 23, which is about the quickest I've done so far, but... Um, so that's it. Um, I guess if you guys have any feedback on the video, you know, let me know. Otherwise, this has been Holden, and I'll see you guys later.